Hi, my name is Mithil Shranavali and I'm Chief Medical Officer and Biostatistician at Data Clinic. At Data Clinic, we specialize in consultancy of biostatistics, centralized electronic medical records, and the analysis of health data. So today I would like to introduce a technique known as survival analysis. What it is and how it is applied for the use of researchers and health decision makers. Survival analysis is used to predict the time to an event. Events include death, rehospitalization, and relapse. So survival analysis is represented graphically by a Kaplan Meyer plot or cumulative incidence plots. At Data Clinic, we make these plots so that they conform with the best scientific guidelines such as Pocock et al. This includes upgoing curves, i.e. cumulative incidence curves where necessary, standard error bars, a number at risk table, the effect size with p-value, labeling of the graph and the axes, and testing the proportional hazard assumption. Survival analysis and kaplan meier curves are the best way to incorporate patients lost to follow-up and those that did not have an event. So at Data Clinic, we have a commitment to advanced survival analysis. So we can provide analyses such as recurrent event survival analysis, which involves the event repeated over a number of times across the follow-up, such as re-hospitalization, competing risk survival analysis, Competing risk survival analysis is when we're interested in one cause competing with many causes, such as death due to cancer adjusted for other causes of death. And then we also include time-varying covariates. Time-varying covariates are when the measures are measured repeatedly over the follow-up period in order to predict the outcome. So a combination of these types of survival analysis can be used. In summary, survival analysis is used to investigate the predictors of a time to event. The event can either be a single event, such as death, a recurrent event, such as rehospitalization, or a competing risk event, such as death due to cancer. The measures can be predicted using baseline measures or throughout the follow-up, such as time-varying covariates. Data Clinic is very strong in survival analysis, and I'd like to share a case study with you. So we integrated two clinical trials, one of which were the SOLVE data set, which looked at heart failure rehospitalizations, and we showed the validity of biomarkers that in predicting heart disease rehospitalization, and also the effect of ACE inhibitors on changing such biomarker values indirectly. So at Data Clinic, we are strong in survival analysis, and we show a dedication to advanced biostatistical techniques.